This segment brought to you by Bob Schwartz Financial. Values, commitment, transparency. Marion Stewart taught school for many years, and one of her favorite memories was teaching at the Broughton, Kansas School. It was a small two-room schoolhouse located just outside of Clay Center. Marion recalls that it took her a while to get used to having a class filled with students of different ages and grade levels. I, I didn't know anything about uh, country school. How, how did they get four grades done in one uh -huh. day. Right. I found a lady that taught at Bella and she was the best help. She helped me get my, my classes organized. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. I loved it, teaching yeah. at Broughton. So you had, uh, were you the only teacher there then? No, Dottie Friesen was the other okay. one. So there were two of you. And uh, about how many kids then total I, did you have? The first year I was there, I had 30 kids. You had, just you had 30 kids? And I don't know how many she had. Uh -huh. okay. The only thing I know is that in the winter time, uh, more than once, if it had snowed, mm -hmm. a it'd be a foot of snow. Sure. Dottie and I uh, agreed that we would take the kids out and we would walk around the school 10 times. Mm -hmm because there was no recess. Uh, but you just needed to We needed some fresh energy. air. <laughs> yeah. And so a single file, we walked around that schoolhouse. I think we, the upper grades went first and we'd go round and it was 10 times and uh, go back in. Uh, I remember that Dottie told me that one of her little boys well, in the third grade, I think, or second or third grade, he came to school the next day after wandering around the schoolhouse and said, I don't know, my dad said he doesn't know why you took us outside <laughs> because we don't even put the cows out when the weather's <laughs> like that. Oh, well, I think it was probably a good idea, though. Just yeah, there was a hill in the back of the schoolhouse, and sometimes we would... If we made arrangements ahead of time, I'd get an okay for us to open the gate and we'd bring our sleds. Oh, yeah, and you'd let them do some sledding. Well, they still had, they, I didn't just let them do the sled, sledding. I, um, they had to give up recess in the morning and in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. And they had to give up their, I'll call it recess at noon. We would eat and then we'd go back to school so we had the same number of hours in school right. yeah. as, make up the time yeah. and then we'd be ready to go outside and sail down that that That's hillside great. on yeah. on a sled that's awesome yeah. that was more fun yeah yeah fun memory we did that a lot yeah one time we went ice skating yeah, was the there a, a pond close by there, then? No, I don't know. It was huh. a mile or so away. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> the town of Broughton no longer exists, lost through the construction of the Milford Dam. And country schools are a thing of the past, but Marion has many fond memories of her time teaching there, and we thank her for sharing a few of them today on Around Kansas. I'm Jamie Bloom. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Bob Swartz. And I've devoted the last 43 years to helping Kansans reach their retirement goals and to protect the family farm. At Bob Swartz Financial, we believe everyone should be able to live the retirement they've always dreamed of. Our team of professionals can help you create an efficient strategy using a variety of investment vehicles to help you address your financial needs and your concerns. Bob Swartz Financial values, commitment, and transparency.